put such a full court press on the massive um, destruction of the true message of the letter of James. Ooh. Because his whole letter is about the work of faith. Yeah. And the church is without the work of faith. Yes. That's what right. they don't have. Right. Right. They don't know what it means to believe on Jesus. And so the serpent come and got everybody to think the letter of James was teaching to be a follower of Jesus is to produce the right kind of fruit. Yes. His letter is actually the letter that rebukes the church for not having the work of faith, which is what the church is absent of right now. They're without the work of faith. And the work of faith isn't that I said a magic prayer. No. That, that isn't the work of faith. The work of faith isn't that, well, I heard that God was going to kill me and send me to hell for my sins if I don't believe on Jesus. Right. And so in my great fear of God coming and killing me, I confess Jesus. That's not the work of faith. That's not the work of faith. Those people James was writing to, they all said the prayer. Mm -hmm. And yet he comes and tells them, you're without the work of faith. And that's, I see now why the serpent has wanted so badly for everybody to think that faith without works means that faith without fruit. Yes. Right. Instead of yes. faith. Yes. Notice Paul said obedience to the faith. Yes. James says the faith without the work of submitting to what that faith says is dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it even goes back further. I mean, we've got a perverted view of faith. Yeah. So when you say the faith, I'm thinking my faith, right? Instead of the faith. And that's why we say the faith. That's right. Because there's one faith. Yes. It, listen, my faith ain't raising me up. There is the faith, and God has found so much beauty in me that he says, let this guy now be a partaker of the faith that I have in myself. Yes. And so now I partake of his faith, and his faith will raise me up. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. And so we can see it clearly like that. The faith says that I'm not the kind of human being that can be justified by my ability to produce fruit. The faith says that I'm the type of being that's justified by the word of the Father about my life. That's what the faith says. Yeah. And so the work that goes along with that faith is to submit to it. To be obedient to what that faith says. Now the people in the letter of James, they were not obedient to what that faith said. They were without the work of submitting to that faith. They looked at their dire situation and they said, we need to now produce fruit in order to be justified. Mm -hmm. And so in adopting that persuasion and not having the work of faith, do you know what they did? They began treating the rich people better than the poor people. And they began going back to the law system. Because they said we can gain status. We can gain accolades. We can gain finances. We can gain fruit by doing that. Yeah. And then through the fruit that we gain by doing that, that will save our souls from this distress that we feel at this tribulation. James comes in and says, that persuasion you have can never save your soul. Yeah. It can never bring forth the life of God in you. And then he tells them they're forgetful hearers. Because you've forgotten that you were crucified with Christ to the man that said, I can be justified by my ability to be fruitful. You've forgotten that you were crucified to that guy. You're a forgetful hearer. You're without the work. Yes. He says, so don't be hearers. Of the word that you were crucified to the man that said I can be justified by the fruit I can produce. But rather be doers of that word. Continue walking in that word. Mm -hmm. Meaning don't try to be justified by your ability to be fruitful. Right. <laughs> don't try to clothe yourself by your ability to be fruitful. Don't be a forgetful hearer that you're dead to that man. Don't be a forgetful here that you've been raised up to a new man. And what is the way that this new man lives? This new man lives that when the world presses in upon him and he feels tribulation and trials coming against him, he doesn't enlist his ability to try to clothe himself and save himself. What he does is, is he goes to the Father, right. and he begins talking to the Father, and the Father begins telling him what he thinks of him, and he finds his soul being restored. Hallelujah. And so his soul is restored in the midst of the world pressing in upon him. 
Right? Yeah. You see how that works? Yeah, yeah. And so that's faith without works is dead. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Now, the guys in the letter of James, they were without the work of faith, and so they lacked the fruit of, of love. Mm -hmm. And so James comes in and he mentions their fruit to prove to them they weren't believing right. Not to get them to produce fruit. Yeah. <laughs> you see, when you're talking to a people who don't know they ain't believing right, right. and they're obstinate against it, yes. you have to first reason with them about right. what they believe. Yeah. That's what God did with the law. Let's reason about this thing you're believing in. The law revealed to them all the fruit that was manifesting in their life was the fruit of death. Mm -hmm. Well, we know death doesn't come from God. And so that's what James did with these guys. Let me show these guys that what they're believing in isn't from God. Let me show them they're without the work of faith. The way I'll show them they're without the work of faith is they'll see they're treating the poor people bad and they're esteeming the rich people. That will reveal to them that that's not the fruit of God's life. Mm -hmm. And so then they can repent from what they're believing, not repent from what they're doing, they could repent from trying to be justified through their own ability. Then their members would go to rest. Yes. And they'd stop treating the poor people like they were worse than the rich people. Because they wouldn't be trying to be justified by gaining status. You see? Mm -hmm. You see how that works? Mm -hmm. Then their soul could be saved. And their soul being saved would start allowing the truth to produce the fruit of God's life in them. Right? Yeah. You guys understand the way that, that whole thing yep. breaks down? Yep. It's the faith yeah. without the work of submitting to what the faith says yeah. is dead. Yeah. Okay? So the faith is full of power to fill my life with love. Mm -hmm. If I don't continue in the, the word of my death to the old man, that faith is powerless to wow. fill my heart with love. Yes. Amen. And we look at it like this. The faith is full of power to cause me to experience God's love for me. The faith is full of power to cause me to experience God's love for me. That's awesome. Now, if I'm without the work of believing in my death to the old man, yes. I won't, that faith That's is powerful. powerless yes. to cause me to experience God's love for me. That's right. Because the only way you can experience God loving you even though he's all the time doing it, even when you're not experiencing it, is to know yourself the way you've always been known. Yes. Yeah. Well, if I'm still knowing myself according to the old man, then I'm not knowing myself the way that I've always been known. You're blinded to that. And so how can I experience God loving me if I'm still knowing myself according to the old man? Yeah. I cannot. Mm -hmm. So the faith tells me that old man isn't who I am. Right. If I don't do the work of submitting to what that faith says to me, I'll never experience God loving me with all of his heart, with all of his soul, with all of his strength. Right. Even though he is. Yeah. Right. And so you can see it easier when you make it him loving you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. faith is full of power to cause you to experience God loving you. The way it does that is by telling you you're dead to the kind of guy that was defined by the flesh. Mm -hmm. And now you're alive to the kind of guy that is only, can only be defined by Jesus. When I continue in the word of that faith, it's full of power to make me experience the love of God for me. If I am a forgetful hearer of what that faith says, if I begin defining myself by my flesh, that faith will be powerless to cause me to experience God loving me, mm -hmm. even though he all the time is. <laughs> you guys following that? Yep. Yes. Great. Yep. yep. That explanation? Yeah. That is so powerful.